Street calc. Get out of my face. I'm a face. Uh, uh, uh. Welcome to 3 4 solving exponential and logarithmic equations. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is taking our logs and our exponential functions a little bit further, and we're actually going to be solving these as equations. Uh, and then we're going to be looking for x values. Uh, we're also going to um, use these functions to model and solve real life problems. So, if we look at our first example here, um, we have a lot of original equations. We have all these problems here, and I'm going to show you how you can rewrite it so you can solve them. Um, and here we're going to be using a lot of properties that we've learned before. So for the first one here, we have 2x to or 2 to the power of x equals 512. What you want to do is you want to rewrite it so you have the same base. So you get 2x equals 2 to the because if you have a 2 here, you have to have a 2 here. So we need to figure out to what power gets you to a 512. So 2 squared is 4. 2 to the third is, or yeah, 2 to the third is 8. 2 to the fourth is 16. 2 to the fifth is 32. 2 to the sixth is 64. 2 to the seventh is 128. And to the eighth is 512. Or no, sorry, to the eighth is 256. And then to the ninth is 512. So what happens is you end up getting x equals 9. Now for number, uh, or for the second part here, what you're going to have to do is if there is a minus in between these, then you're going to set these up as the log base 4, and you're going to take x, oops, sorry, you're actually going to take your 8 underneath your x. You're going to have x divided by 8 equals 0. And what happens after that is in order to get rid of a logarithm on the left, this needs to become 4, you need to click over here, and needs to become x over 8 equals 4 to the 0 power. And we know that 4 to the 0 power is equal to 1. So we're going to have x over 8 is equal to 1, which in the end, if you multiply both sides by 8, gives us x equals 8. So that would make sense if you plug in log base 4 of 8 minus log base 4 of 8 would equal to 0. On the third problem here, you have a, a 5. Well, you could rewrite this as 5 to the negative 1 to the power of x. And then the 125 is a 5 to the power of 3. So what you really have is a negative x equals 3. So in this case, you get x equals negative 3 after you divide by a negative 1. <coughs> um, for the next problem, you're trying to get x by itself. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take the natural log of both sides. So if you take the natural log of e to the x is equal to the natural log of 13, then what you end up getting is x equals natural log of 13. And if we plug it into your calculator, ln, which, does anybody know what it means yet? ln 13 is equal to 2.5649. So don't forget to round to four decimals. So we're going to say x is approximately 2.5649. Now, we're going to do the reverse here. If you have a natural log of x, in order to get rid of a natural log, because you're trying to get the x by itself, you take both sides to the power of e. So you have an e to the power, power of natural log of x is equal to e to the negative 8, which these over here on the left just cancel the e and the natural log, kind of like over above, the natural log and the e canceled. So you just end up with an x by itself. So you get x equals e to the negative 8. And we're going to get a decimal approximation here. So we're going to take second natural log, that's your e to the x, to the power of negative 8. And you get 3.3546. Now notice here at the end you have e to the negative 4. So make sure you include that that is basically like a times 10 to the negative 4. So that means we'd have to move our decimal to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. So our answer ends up being a 0 0.0003. So we get a small decimal here. 
four decimals. Um, on the last one, you have to do what we did up here in red, where in order to get rid of a log on one side, this base comes over and bumps up the other side. So this 10 is going to move and bump up the negative 2. So we're going to get x equals 10 to the negative 2, which is just a 1 over 10 squared. So you end up getting x equals 1 over 100.